Today I'm going to talk about triathlon's fourth sport, namely buying new gear. This time buying new gear for swimming because new gear is great. <laughs> First off, I want to talk about pool boys. Pool boys, you put them, put it between your legs to keep them static, and uh, they take away the propulsion and the balancing effect of your kick. There are bigger pool boys and there are smaller pool boys. And when you choose, opt in for the smaller one. Big pool boys are for swim runners because their feet are sinking because of their shoes. You don't need that in the pool. Instead, take the small one, activate your core, and you will swim better when you can't have it on your next competition. Moving on to the paddles. Paddles, as you can see, comes in many shapes and sizes. But basically, they're just plastic uh, plates with rubber bands in them. So, I mean, you don't have to overthink it. Using paddles are great to work on your muscle strength and your endurance, and as well as technique. You can have a rubber band for your finger, and for your wrist, I like to take away the band for the wrist. So, when using it, and you're not using proper technique, the paddle will flutter away. As with the pool boy, bigger isn't better. Start off small and work your way up. It's not about big biceps or big hands, it's about your rotator cuff, and you don't want to stress them early on in the season and get injured. Moving on to the fins. Swimming fins are shorter and stiffer than, say, diving fins or body surfing fins. And fins are great both for getting in some distance in your training and take a load off your shoulders, as well as they really accentuate your kick and you can feel when you're doing it right. So fins, a great way to, a great thing to have in your swim training. Last but not least, the kickboard. The kickboard comes in many shapes and sizes and every brand say that they have an innovation that will make it far superior than all the rest. In actuality, it's just a piece of foam. So you, I suggest buy the one that fits in your bag or just use your pool boy. I mean, you just need something that floats so you can have in front of you. In our training programs, we're mostly focusing on freestyle swimming. So you don't need it for having on for your backstroke or your uh, breaststroke kicking. It's a great thing, but if you don't want to buy all the gear at once, opt in for the pool boy. And last but not least, you need a good body. I mean, swimming with a friend is much more fun than swimming alone. And I mean, gear are fun, but friends are more fun. So get a good friend and go swim together. Now, you have all the gear and you have a body and now you want to start, but how do you start? Well, on our website we have a four-week escalation plan, starting off small with small and short workouts and escalate, escalate during four weeks to you getting into training if you're new to triathlon or getting back into training if this is your third or fourth or even tenth season. So welcome to TOT.